Je أنا اسمي عبد الناصر. بعد ست شهور نزل وزن تقريبا من 80 كيلو ل 60 والست شهور التانيات نزل من 60 ل 49 كيلو. فرحت عند الدكتور فحصني بطني قال إنه معك جرتومة إنه هذا هذا الإشي تراجع فيه دكتور أورام دم. ففاجأنا بكلمة سرطان الدم. طبعا أنا يعني مش معرفت أولا وين أروح Yo me llamo Hermila y me diagnosticaron cáncer de mama Cuando el doctor me dio la noticia pues me asusté, me espanté Yo nada más había escuchado que las quimioterapias eran muy caras pues no tenía una idea ni cuánto Con el sueldo que gana uno no ajustaría para pagar las quimioterapias Yo dije, pues me voy a morir. It's clear now to everybody who's paying attention that chronic diseases, non-communicable diseases like cancer are accounting for most of the world's deaths. 60% in the developed world and 80% in the developing world. And I think that they can be treated, they can be prevented, and they can be addressed in some of the toughest places around the world. It's clearly a global problem, and yet it's different from country to country. And there are many parts of the world where there are no health systems, so there's no way of educating people about basic prevention that will avoid a lot of cancers. It needs a global response. One of the things that the international community can do is to stop saying or suggesting that cancer is not a ranking concern in the least developed countries. It is. This is a serious problem right now. It has been for a long time. And we have some tools that could be used to address cancer in developing countries. Um, and we need to deploy those tools. I moved to Rwanda in 2005, about six years ago. We were invited by the Ministry of Health in Rwanda to come and work in a couple of rural health districts that at the time didn't have functioning hospitals. There was 400,000 people and not a single doctor. Originally, we moved to this abandoned hospital. Muri jano sit, muri mino ngutenda na kane, ibitaro byara sahuwe, virono nekara, kuburyo bitashwa gukorwa, gukore rwamo, bidasanu. After being there for maybe a year, we um, began getting children with cancer. I didn't go to Rwanda expecting to treat cancer, and it wasn't on the top of my list of public health problems. Cancer starts to emerge as a concern in a country like Rwanda, because people start to survive of malaria, HIV, tuberculosis. So you can see that people didn't get time to develop their cancer. Our first case was a girl whose name was Francine. Yara, yara, yaji, movie tarajatina, movie for the watching her granda. No, no, we are not near another one. Akajenda Gashaka, Maguzama, Faranga, Kujango, Mundangerina. Francine had this enormous tumor um, growing out of the side of her face. 
Eventually, we were able to send a biopsy to CDC lab and found out what type of cancer it was, and it was a, a rhabdomyosarcoma. This actually was a cancer that was um, had a relatively good prognosis. I didn't really have a model in my head for how we would address this. We were in this very rural hospital. And I just didn't think it was something we could do in our setting. Her tumor got bigger, and you know we felt that she would definitely die without treatment, but I didn't have a precedent for it. In 1997, cancer treatment was not great here in Jordan. And as you know, cancer knows no mediocrity. You either get great cancer treatment or really don't bother. In our part of the world specifically, people are still terrified uh, when they hear the word cancer. وأنا من أبناء قطاع غزة المقيمين بالأردن أنا شغلي بالوسط التجاري على بسطة أبيع يعني أطلع مصاري فلما أنا مرضت بعت البضاعة بالمستودع عشان أدفع للمستشفى الآن When we first started working at the King Hussein Cancer Center we obviously focused first on treatment because if we were to show that people can survive cancer in the first place then you really have a chance to battle the taboo about cancer الحمد لله كل شهر بروح باخذ دواي و ساعتين ونص ثلاثه بكون نهية كامله The King Hussein Cancer Center is the only comprehensive cancer center in the entire Middle East over 100,000 visits every year يعني مؤسسه ما قصرت معي بشيء فحوصات تعطوني العلاج المناسب وكل شيء لما بقدر اوصل للحاله هاي we have no choice right now but to expand. There is massive demand from all over the region. وهسه معي المرض الحمد لله بعلاجي بقدر اعمل اي شيء والحمد لله هسه بتابع شغلي وتجوزت يعني وما عندي اي مشكله ومرتي حامل يعني هسه هي بالسابع يعني كمان شهرين يخلصين عشان اشوف بنتي واحضنها when a country is trying to develop, cancer imposes an even heavier burden on it. When such a large number of people succumb to cancer, you are losing a big chunk of the productive sector of society. Most health systems in the world, especially in poor countries, are not investing enough in health. The costs of disease don't go away because you don't treat them. In fact, they go up. The cost in lost productivity, in lost human capital, they go up. That spending in health is not a consumption, it's not an expenditure, it is an investment. And that not spending enough in health is bad economic policy. When there is a cancer, there are very expensive medications that one can't pay. We were at the beginning very preoccupied. Without the chemotherapy, one can't win this disease. Cuando me enfermé de cáncer de mama, este me preocupó pues algo el dinero. Y ya me dice el doctor, aquí hay un seguro popular. Es un apoyo para las personas que pues que no tenemos otro otro seguro, otra atención médica. Mi hija y mi esposo se me arreglaron el seguro popular. El Seguro Popular se encarga de pagar esas quimioterapias tan caras. Es mucha ayuda. The innovation of the Seguro Popular is to include cancer as a disease so that there is no Mexican without access to free treatment for any cancer that they might get. Me operaron y empezamos con las quimios. Hay un nuevo programa que ahora nos permite recibir la quimioterapia en nuestra propia casa. Terminan de ponérsela a uno y uno, ya estando aquí en su casa, se acuesta a uno a descansar. Yo creí que no salía ni el año pasado. Bendito sea Dios, aquí estoy de nuevo.
déjà rencontré la première fois qu'on a qu'on avait mis en chimiothérapie qui est Francine. Moi aussi, j'ai resté avec une surveillance. Elle était gravement malade de façon qui, après une fois, a réussi le chimio ici. Elle était au niveau que le pronostic était sombre. Mais au fur et à mesure, elle a commencé à récupérer. After the first chemotherapy administration, the tumor started shrinking, and I have, I think, photographs of every week. So we gave her nine weeks of chemotherapy initially before the tumor was small enough for her to have surgery to remove the rest of it. Les gens sont, ont été étonnés de voir la, la masse diminuer. C'était incroyable, même pour le personnel de l'hôpital, parce que c'était pour la première fois. One of the greatest outcomes of what we've done is that it's completely transformed the, the attitudes of the nurses on the ward. Now the attitude is kind of, okay, let's try, even when we see a really difficult case. Ariko nyuma bigaragaye ko kuri bitaro hari abantu bakurikiranirwa bavurwa kanseri hari abandi tuza tubona baturutse mu tundi duce tugihu. Et c'est pas Francine seulement parce que dans ces 30 enfants ici on a 12 enfants qui ont été guéris derrière lui. Ndabe furiza ko ko bazarwara bagakira nk'ubundi nkuko nange bamaye yo mete nkakira. We can learn a lot of lessons. Just a few years ago, we had no financing mechanism to diagnose, prevent, or treat, for example, AIDS in Africa. People uh, had said that we couldn't provide the care there. It was too expensive, it was too complicated, patients wouldn't come for care, there was stigma involved with the disease, and we couldn't make people better. And we've, in fact, proved them wrong. It's a lesson we need to learn for cancer diagnosis and care, and cancer prevention and care, is you need advocates. When people started to actually live longer lives, people said, wow, this, this can actually be done, and everything changed. The same thing can happen with cancer. You're starting to see the treatment of cancers that people couldn't even treat in developed countries 20 years ago. They're treating them in these developing places. You have to just see those outcomes and show those to the world. Every person has the right to receive excellent cancer treatment. Treating cancer should not just be an accident of geography. So if we double down our efforts uh, and continue to empower others to get involved, that is what will ultimately see cancer become a global priority. It's about sharing responsibility and ultimately it's about taking action. There's no more powerful testimony than someone in the community who was dying of AIDS or cancer or whatever else and now is better. That's, that's all the publicity you need.